volleyball i threw up some uric acid or something maybe it's on my stomach give me something that's like like you know, it doesn't like after a certain point Hey guys, it's me, Lali. I'd like to apologize for not uploading a lot of videos lately because I am kind of busy and there's a lot of things going on in my life from shooting dysphoria, closing my electrolysis business. So I realized why not heal myself by doing. This is my decision by doing a seven days water fasting nothing but water this is my decision know? by doing a seven days water fasting nothing but water you know so undergoing water fasting it will help my body to to detoxify you know to to be on the ketosis level where my body will use my stored fats and also undergo true um, autophagy where my body will use my um, dead cells, old cells. Um, I'm not a medical practitioner. I am not expert on it. I am not um, encouraging you guys to do it without medical supervision. I will let my body to heal on its own. So today is my first day and I don't know what's gonna happen. But before I do this seven days fasting, I did intermittent fasting. So my body is kind of used to not eating a lot of food. So I hope I can do it and I hope you guys would would learn something from it and I, I could inspire you, you know, to heal your body naturally. And guess where I am? I'm here on Central Park Beach Volleyball. I just got home. I was able to play two games around 7.30 and yeah, so my body is kind of like weak. My body is slower and the hardest part is my friend Jeannie, Amanda, Matt, they were inviting me to eat empanada mama. But I decided to just go home because if I go there, I might get tempted to eat some empanadas. Hungry wise, I'm not that yet hungry because um, I kept on, <laughs> on drinking water. I'm scared to get hungry and I'm not yet hungry. So... I'll let you know guys tomorrow. It's so wrong that I drink a lot of water. So I had to pee a lot, which is so wrong because if I drink a lot of water, I have to pee and I lose my potassium and electrolytes. So I should not do that. But um, that's my first day. So I'll update you guys um, tomorrow. Day two of my water fasting. Day two. I just woke up. Um, Last night, I was not able to sleep. Um, I was not hungry, but since I drink a lot of water, I had to wake up and go to the bathroom and pee. And so I slept like three in the morning and there's a construction going on literally in front of my window. And the workers start to work like nine o'clock, start to do their construction so I'm kind of like disturbed and you know like I want to sleep like at least eight hours I love to sleep so my plan for this day two would be I would less my water consumption like maybe um, yeah six to seven glasses of water a day I will drink um, on lunchtime dinner time you know before I sleep so I won't have to urinate um, uh, often so I won't lose my electrolytes and today I'm going to downtown Manhattan for a meeting and I hope I get some energy and I hope I will not smell any food from you know from the food stall outside and I gotta go I gotta do 
quick like 15 minutes meditation first and i will take shower and go to downtown and i'll update you guys And of course, I'm scared to get hungry, so look what I got. <laughs> almost home I'm on my way home from my meeting in downtown and <laughs> I was so tempted to eat something I'm so hungry my stomach is boiling <laughs> like crocko crocko like crocko crocko like crocko crocko so um, it's a very nice weather here in New York nice beautiful weather so I might go in Central Park and play beach volleyball but I'm very hungry so before I go to Central Park I will drink a lot of water I'll bring a lot of water again <laughs> to make sure I will not get hungry and I make myself busy so so I'm not always thinking about food so second day of my fasting and We'll see what happens. So, I'm on my way to Central Park to play volleyball. See you. Ready to explore right up in the sky. I need you to listen. I need you to hear. And don't show anything. I've been flying. So here, guys, I am maintaining my body. So I'm here. I'm going to play volleyball on B court. Second day fasting. I hope I play well. I don't care. I just need to stay fit and healthy. Good morning, everyone. Day three of my water fasting. I just woke up. Um, on my window, I sleep here in my couch because in my bedroom, there is a construction going on right in front of my bedroom window. So around nine in the morning, uh, there's drilling happening, construction, so noisy. And because I was hungry last night, I slept like 2.30 and then I'm still sleepy when I hear people are working on my window so I decided to move here in my couch and sleep for another hour so day three of my water fasting well, two days ago I was 156.4 and it's like it's actually like two days since I fast only so I am now 155.2 so so that's like one pound 1.2 pounds I lost on two days water fast. Yeah, so like doing seven days fasting is like rebooting, rebooting my body. One of the reasons why I am doing this water fasting is because is because um during the pandemic I gained a lot of weight. I gained 20 pounds, and um on september 18 i have to be you know not skinny but like really good fit for the last shoot of this for you for karen's character that's like 10 days from now so i have to be you know i have to lose weight for that shooting so for the gown will will fit on me so i will let you guys know what will happen on the day three and so far so good um i just feel weak I'm not in the mood. Um, I wish I could go out today. Maybe I'll go in the park again, but will not play volleyball because yesterday I played already. Um, 
When I got home, after playing volleyball, I threw up some uric acid or something. Maybe it's on my stomach and it went up. So it's not a good idea to play volleyball while on water fasting or it's not a good idea to go on, you know, exert extreme activities or sports while on fasting. So that's why um, I am not suggesting this to everyone. You guys should consult your medical provider or your doctor before you do it. Here in Central Park, just watching, relaxing. Have no plans to play because my body is tired and exhausted. I'm hungry. So I'm just here watching before the rain comes down. So here. I'm hoping next week I can go back to, to play again. I am so hungry, so I drink a lot of water, and now I am so tired. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys, and I'll sleep soon. Mwah. Day four. I was not able to say good morning, guys, because I had to do something right away. So now um, it's like my fourth day. I feel energized. And um, yeah, after seven days of my fasting, maybe I will do it 10 days. I don't know if I feel, you know, if I have energy. So I cannot break my fast right away. I have to like consume uh, juice, smoothies, um, those, those kind of stuff, like, like veggies. Nothing solid yet for, for another seven days. And yeah, after seven days is the only time I can have steamed broccoli, steamed vegetables, you know. So yeah, so I'm very excited. Let me show you the unboxing of my new juicer. I'm very excited. I have to put some like, like liquid also. Uh, some people, they do like bone broth. But I mean like I'm trying to be plant-based as much as possible. So, you know, like $50. This one, $50 on Amazon. Hello everyone! Day 5, um, I have energy and I am preparing now for a fashion week. So technically, I just finished the fourth day of fasting and we're gonna do um, weighing scale and see if I lost weight. And tomorrow, I will try to um, do some um, ketosis check if my body is on ketosis. So... Okay, let's do some, let's do the, the weighing scale. Guys, 153.6. So, yeah, that's a good start. Uh, finishing uh, day four of my water fast. And I gotta go, guys. I will do um, the weighing scale again on, after I finish the, the, the day seven of my water fast. I have to prepare now and go to a fashion show, so I will bring you there, guys. So, guys, I'm on my way to the New York Fashion Week. It's a fashion show in downtown, and I forgot my mask. The driver is so nice to let me to let me in and live. But at least um, I showed my vaccine card, and I'm very excited. Um, fifth day water fasting sucks. I feel like. I don't know, I have the energy, but I feel weak also. I don't know. So I've been flying from town to town, from London to Simon. I've been all around the globe, trying to protect your soul. We are heroes. Heading home. Oh, I'm so hungry. I gotta sleep now. So hoping I could survive this seven days water fasting. <laughs> Pray for me, guys. Good morning, everyone. Day six of my water fasting. I feel tired and exhausted after a long fashion week, but um, I'm not hungry. I feel like my body's using my, my stored fats. I told you I will do the ketosis check using my, my machine, but it has to prick my finger, which I hate pain. So I might buy um, a ketosis strip 
in Amazon and use that instead of, you know, pricking my my finger and get the blood from it. Okay, so as I promised, so it was a long day for me. I had a lot of audition. I did a lot of self-tape audition for my acting and modeling. So as I promised, I will do ketone test trick. So like I'm gonna put my urine here and it will determine if I am on ketosis. Ketosis is like Ketosis means my body uses my stored fats because I'm on a water fasting for for five days now and today's the sixth day. So yeah, so um, we're going to check if I'm on ketosis. That means it's a positive and good result if I am on ketosis. So of course, you guys are not going to watch me do this. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so I'll go to the bathroom. I'll go to the restroom to do this. Ketosis strip, keto strip. Don't watch, guys. Don't watch. I'm gonna let you know what's happening, okay? So, this is a strip. This one. So, we're gonna find out, okay? So, I'm gonna do it, guys. Okay, guys. So, you can see this is the unused um, ketone strip panel that is not used as a color. And then, after 40 seconds, Upon putting my urine there for 40 seconds, this is the color. Congratulations to me from this to this. Woo! Monkey toasts. Oh my gosh. So it's like this one large, meaning that's the color of it, of my, my uh, keto panel. So large, meaning I'm so close to larger. That's how, that's how. A lot of ketones I have on my body, which is that's the energy that it gives me. No hunger after um, five or six days. So I don't know if I could um, last without eating food. So yeah, I'm so happy. I'm on ketosis. Good morning, everyone. Seventh day of my water fasting. I feel energized and I'm very happy that I am on ketosis level. And today I have a shoot for Dysphoria and I met with Boogie, my makeup artist and stylist, hair and makeup, the Hollywood famous hair and makeup artist in America, Boogie Rivera. Yeah, so I'm gonna meet him. He will come in my place to do the makeup for the last two shoots of this for you, our film. So I'm very excited and I want to show you guys today what's going to happen. Oh guys, look at this here. Look at this here. Oh my god, ito pala yung pogi mong jowa. Tatanungin ko pa naman sana. <laughs> ito yung jowa, ang guwapo. <laughs> so beso nang galing yung, ano, yung name na Bogey. Ba't ka nila tinawag na Bogey? Diba? So yun. my crown uh, oh, here. here okay from boogie rivera look at that so guys this is the final look we're gonna shoot in times square so boogie tell us tell us about your social media your contact number for clients interested on your services Yes. Follow me Instagram. It's B O O G I E M U S N I that dot Rivera R I V E R A. That's Boogie Musni Rivera. Oh, Boogie Musni dot Rivera. Please so follow it's, me. it's on the description box below, guys. I'm gonna put his description and also on Facebook. He have a Facebook. So yes, it's Boogie Musni Rivera.
my gosh i'm so exhausted from the shoot of dysphoria so it was fun good night everyone i will update you guys tomorrow hello guys congratulations to me because i finished the seven days water fast and now we are gonna weigh again and see how much um, pounds i lose from from the seven days water fast it is so so hard now i am very very hungry and i'm gonna have maybe soup bone broth or smoothie after this way in so finally guys let's do it so let's not forget that the phone i am using now i'm holding to to record is one pound and then also my silicon top for the breast is 1.5 kilograms so 149 so basically now i am 147 something like that so seven pounds i lost is not bad guys so yay from 156 something to 149 that's the big achievement so after finishing the seven days of water fast just water um it's very hard but the amount of weight i lost um makes me very happy and also uh, it gave me mental clarity and i feel more healthy i feel more confident um but you just have to be careful i was very careful of my health because i was dizzy i was not in a good mood i was always hungry i cannot sleep i get headache but i think if you have perseverance if you want to lose weight if you want to look good and then it's for you guys um the amount of weight i lost is not um that big but it's like like one pound a day is enough and it's hard work you know it's dedication but it makes me feel good like every time i will see how my stomach is getting smaller i feel good but it made me also realize how fat i am and how big my stomach was so um i'm about to do um like 10 days but i cannot do it i have to break my fast so um after this i am going to have a smoothie or bone broth and that's my first meal i'm gonna do that maybe for like four to five days for my stomach to get used to food again before i consume um you know vegetables and everything so for for us to be safe so my suggestion for you guys is if you want to lose weight if you want to feel good about your body and you feel like you are detoxified you reboot your body you reset your body and then seven days water fast is good for you so next week i am going to try two days dry fast um you guys should check that out you guys should wait for that and if you guys like this video you have any question or suggestion leave a like comment and subscribe and lots of love from new york